in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and we are glad. Good morning and welcome to our Easter celebration as we celebrate the resurrection of Christ. The Mass that gives us hope that through his death and suffering, Jesus rose to give us the gift of life. It's hard at this time when you're at home, not in church celebrating with everybody this joyful day. It leaves a bit of emptiness. And so we ask the Lord to give us hope that someday we'll overcome this isolation from the coronavirus. But as we're isolated, we gather spiritually with each other and we offer our prayers to the risen Lord that he fill us with his joy and his peace as we celebrate this Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Savior of the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. day to your only begotten son have conquered death and unlock for us the path to eternity grant we pray that we who keep the solemnity of the lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought about by your spirit rise up in light of life to our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. According to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and she saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and are glad. Easter Sunday is a happy day. But it's different this year. You're not in church. You're at home. Hopefully praying with me and streaming. 
I know some people tell me they're still in their pajamas and drinking coffee. I hope you're doing, on this Easter Sunday, you're doing more than that. But what makes Easter joyful? What makes us glad? It's the way we prepare. And Easter Sunday is the day we prepare well. We get our families together. We try to get them new clothes, get them out to church. My mother used to wear a bonnet. And before going to Mass, my father would sing, Where you reach the bonnet. Because Easter is a joyful time. And that's what we have to put into our lives today, the joy of Easter. And what makes it joyful? That God loves us and that God cares for each one of us. It's like what St. John said at the end of his gospel today. The disciples didn't understand the meaning of Jesus dying or his resurrection till he rose from the dead, until they experienced him in their lives, the risen Christ, they didn't understand it. The scripture gives us a lot of beautiful stories of how the disciples encountered Christ at Easter and how they were full of joy. Mary Magdalene, she went to the tomb first because she loved Jesus. She wanted to anoint him properly. But when she arrived, the tomb was empty. A horror, somebody stole the body. So she raced to Peter and she raced to John. I told him, the tomb is empty, the body's gone. So John ran with Peter, and John being young, who got there first. That's what he said, the younger fellow, I got there first, and I waited for the old guy to come. And then Peter went in, and they saw the linen cloths folded nicely. And John said he went in, and when he saw the cloths folded, he said, he saw and he believed, he knew, he got the grace to recognize that Jesus had risen from the dead as he had promised. He didn't know how, but he knew he did. And then, as we go along the Easter stories, Mary Magdalene met him in the garden later on. And then some of the disciples in the evening were walking, very downcast. Everything in their life was gone, nothing left. Like us, we're home, the feeling of this emptiness. Everything strange, no church, nothing, life is gone. And they met Jesus. He opened our hearts to the scriptures. But then they invited him in at the end of the evening. They said, Lord, it is evening. Come with us and join us. And when they invited Jesus in, then they recognized him in the breaking of the bread. In the Eucharist, which we're, I'm celebrating with you now, in your dining rooms, that's where the disciples recognized him. And they invited him to come into them. Even though you're far from the church, you're celebrating this Eucharist, Invite the Lord into your hearts with the spiritual communion, I will say, when we receive our communion in this Mass. Because it's in the breaking of the bread, the Eucharist, we recognize the risen Christ. It's there we get hope, because new life is always here for us. And God, no matter what happened, God is with us, and God promises new life. Easter, the gift of new life in this pandemic, lifting us out of this pandemic. Now we're going to renew our baptismal promises. 
And every Easter, we always renew our baptismal promises. My dear friends, through the Paschal mystery, we've been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so the relentless observance is concluded, let us renew the baptisms, our holy baptism, by which we once renounced Satan, his works, and promise to serve God in this holy Catholic Church. And I ask you, and especially all of you at home, do you renounce Satan? I do. All his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Almighty Father, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. And do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given his new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, bestowed upon us the forgiveness of our sins. Keep us by his grace. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. 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 Christ is risen. The power of Christ's resurrection fills the world with new life. And so with great joy and expectation, we place our prayers before our good and loving Father. For Pope Francis, Bishop Parks, priests and deacons of our diocese, for proclaiming by word and deed the gospel of the risen Christ with joy and perseverance in this time of the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For nations experiencing uncertainty about their future, for courage to all who suffer under the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those affected economically or physically by the coronavirus, for strength, courage, and restoration to health, for the assistance which they need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those serving in our military, for those injured and those who gave their lives in combat, for their families and friends, for peace among the nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those serving the needs of others during this global pandemic, for doctors, nurses, first responders, and healthcare workers, we pray to the Lord. For all joining this liturgy, celebrating the victory of life over death, we pray to the Lord. For those who are ill, and for those who have asked us to pray for them, especially for Robert Sheets, Betty McCarthy, and Charles Fibelli. For God's love, peace, and healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for Sylvia Galuski, John Jordan, Mary Ann Rodriguez, and Susan Donath. For God's gift of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of our parish for whom this Mass is offered, and for our personal intentions, For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Father, you hold the mysteries of life and death. By the resurrection of your Son, Jesus, give us the promise of eternal life. Continue to guide us as we journey to your heavenly kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray with me that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all his children. Exalted with past the gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this day, above all, to Lord you, yet more is glorious when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our debt. And by rising, he has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept, bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifice, which we truly offer firstly for your Holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her through the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, and all those who hold in the truth and down the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and we pray especially for the parishioners of St. Anne and those watching, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and for all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in the hope of health and well-being, paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and a communion whose memory we venerate, especially the ever-glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter, Paul, Andrew, James, and John, and all your saints, we ask that through the merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, grace is the acceptance of nation of our service and that of your whole family, which we make to you, and for those to whom you have been pleased to give, new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them the forgiveness of their sins, order our days in your peace, a command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritually acceptable that it may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And on the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving thanks, he said a blessing, gave it the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection of the dead, and the glorious ascension to heaven, of Christ your Son, our Lord, and we, your servants and your holy people, offer your glorious majesty from the gift that you've given to us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice and spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, and in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember, Lord, also your servants who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, and rest in the peace of Christ. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of life, refreshment, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant blessings, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Agatha, Lucy, Cecilia, and Anna, patron, and all your saints. And as we beseech you in their company, the way in our merits, but granted us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. For through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Not the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We now share a sign of our Lord's peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I have been not worthy to be the end of my word. But I will say the word and my soul shall be. faith does we can do things spiritually and this is a great moment for us and our families to pray together spiritually that the Lord will come into our souls my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O oh God, with unfailing love and favor, so that we knew by Paschal mysteries she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just before I finish, I'd like to, if you'd like to join myself and Father Bill for an Easter blessing, which you probably have received spiritually, but you can come and receive it practically in front of the church this morning between 9 and 1. We'll be here. We'd be glad to bless you with the holy water of Easter. 
so we can renew our faith and trust in Almighty God. Also, we pray to be overcome from danger, especially the danger of the coronavirus. It's really rampant around Florida now. We want to pray for protection for us and for our families. So we pray to Michael the Archangel. So we pause. O oh, Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the root of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. We bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. May he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son endow you with the prize of mortality. Amen. Amen. And now that the days of our Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come at Christ's help, exalted in the Spirit, to the feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Just before I finish, a lot of you tell me you're grateful to Father Bill and I for bringing the St. Anne close to your rooms. But I could not have done this without great people helping me in the background. Wayne and Beverly singing. Linda behind the camera, who you can't see, giving you all the different angles. Jeannie, our sarcastic, and our two our two lectors, Angie and Sandy. And we pray for all those who participate and help us through this difficult time. And on behalf of the parish, I wish all of you a very, very happy Christmas. <laughs> a very, very happy Easter, sorry. A very, very happy Easter. And may God bless you all. And uh, we hope to see you in the dry pass soon. Have a good day.